Organizations can use the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats, or SWOT analysis, to present and discuss internal and external factors that define or affect the organization's positioning in a sustainability context. SWOT can help to engage and motivate stakeholders, particularly those with a limited knowledge of sustainability issues. Most importantly, it can help to identify and communicate new insights to senior decision makers. To adapt SWOT to the sustainability-specific organization, it can use models proposed by different institutes or the organization can create its own approach. For example, the Sustainability SWOT User Guide, created by the World Resources Institute, suggests offering additional perspectives to the analysis and structuring it around eight questions. You can see these in Table 3.11. The guide suggests starting with the big picture, then focusing on the organization. SWOT analysis begins with threats and opportunities and pushes teams to think beyond the company's four walls. It emphasizes connections between environmental challenges and other trends creating big changes in future markets. After starting big, the analysis narrows to the company level by drawing connections to strengths, weaknesses and priority action items. The guide then suggests thinking broadly to create new value or assess value at risk. SWOT analysis focuses on how environmental threats impact not just the organization, but also other important stakeholders, such as customers and communities. These can represent risks as well as opportunities to create new solutions for the business and the environment. The final guidance is to find a collaborative edge by leveraging core competences and addressing vulnerabilities with partners. SWOT analysis emphasizes strengths that a company already has and those a company can build by collaborating with others, such as companies, customers, suppliers and communities. Likewise, it emphasizes weaknesses that a company can address with other stakeholders and in some cases, competitors. Using this or another specialized approach to present and discuss the current state of the organization may help to improve communications with the stakeholders and obtain better support for planning the sustainability journey and its realization. Understanding the current state and external factors is necessary to ensure that the sustainability objectives are realistic and based on the organization's strengths and opportunities. Therefore, a formal SWOT analysis can be included in the assessment report.